Hi there, today I'm at Coombs Valley Nature Reserve. I'm gonna go and take some photographs of birds. I really like coming to Coombs Valley because it's very handy for where I work. Now I've just had a little chat with one of the volunteers here. He said that there's some flycatchers down by the pond, so I'm going to go over there shortly. But I've already seen quite a lot of birds just standing by the visitor centre. I've seen a greater spotted woodpecker, I've seen a wren, and I've seen a nuthatch. So I know I'm going to see lots of things today, and I'm really going to enjoy my photography. So I've stood here for about 10 minutes. Unfortunately, I've not really got any really good photographs. I did get a fairly nice shot of the pheasant and probably a very mediocre shot of the nuthatch. Now I did see lots of sightings of the greater spotted woodpecker, but every time I saw it, it was right up in the top of the tree so I couldn't get a photograph of it. I did see the wren and it went into uh, a wood pile um, and I didn't see it come out, unfortunately. Um, that was the only sighting I saw of that. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move on and try and find somewhere where I can sit for a little bit longer where it's not quite as busy. I've just stood for about another 20 minutes trying to get a shot of some willow tits and I was talking to the warden um, just saying how unusual it was to see a pair and every time we started talking the willow tits turned up to the feeders and sat in a really great place and I couldn't focus quick enough. Every time I stopped talking to focus on taking the pictures they didn't show up. Now eventually I did manage to get one shot of the willow tit on a feeder but I had to give up so I can move on and take something else. So this is a really good time of year for taking pictures of birds because the leaf canopy isn't really dense at the moment. We're in the mid spring, so the leaves are just starting to come out, but because there isn't a lot of leaves on the trees, that means that if there are birds there, you do stand a better chance of taking their picture because you can see them more clearly. Now that doesn't guarantee that you will see any birds because it's all a little bit of potluck and a little bit of patience. Now I did get a comment once on one of my videos saying that they thought they could take more pictures of birds in their own back garden than you can in a reserve like this and that is really missing the point because at the moment I'm in nature and these are not captive animals it's not like visiting a zoo where you're guaranteed to see some sightings of animals here you just have to use a little bit of field craft and a little bit of patience and you could walk away and not really get any decent photographs. Yes, I'll, you'll definitely see birds, but whether they'll perform and land in a spot where you'll get a really good photograph, that cannot be guaranteed. So to make that kind of comment really misses the point. You've just got to enjoy being out and seeing the nature. So I've just had an amazing sighting. I was walking along this path 
and about five meters in front of me on this fence just here was a red start. Now, according to the volunteer that I spoke to earlier, there have been no sightings so far this year of red starts. So I will be the first person to record a sighting this year, which I'm quite proud about. And what's more is it flew off and joined its mate. So there is a pair of them about. So that's a little bit of an honor. I don't get a medal for it, unfortunately, but I do just get a little bit of pride that I'm the first person to see one this year. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get a um, photograph of them because I'd got a tripod in each hand and I just could not get to my camera quick enough. And that's the way it goes sometimes. But I am off to the pond now and I've just talked to another photographer who said that the pied flycatchers are out in force. So I'm hoping to get a photograph of those. So no sign of the flycatchers yet. I have been here for about half an hour. Um, another guy has just come and sat down. We've had a chat. He was here yesterday and he saw loads of flycatchers yesterday. He said they were in and out um, of the nest boxes just over to my left, about five meters away and he got some great shots. So they definitely are about, but I'm just not seeing them myself this morning. But while I've been waiting, I have noticed a pair of Canada geese. One is sat on a nest um, just on the other side of the pond. And also a chiff chaff was flying around in the top of the trees and I didn't manage to get a shot of that. So hopefully that will be okay. So this is always a difficult part about bird photography. I know I'm in the right location. Um, I've been waiting patiently and quietly. I've not been talking to the camera. Um, there have been sightings of the pied flycatchers this morning, and there were sightings yesterday and over the weekend. But just while I've been sat here, I've not seen a single hint of a pied flycatcher. So now I'm faced with the possibility of do I wait a little bit longer or do I move on and try a different location? It's that catch 22 because part of me feels if I do move on, chances are I'll arrive back at this location just after I leave. And that's the kind of frustrating part about um, nature photography. We're starting to face the possibility that I might end this video without the shot that I'm really looking for. So stay with me. I'm not sure how this video is going to end. It may end in disappointment. So I've decided to move on to a different location and cut my losses. I've sat here for about an hour and I've not seen any sighting of the pied flycatchers. Now there have been sightings in other locations, so I'm going to try those out and just see what happens. But in this kind of um, situation, it's difficult to know what to do for the best. And it, as I said earlier, it may turn out that I just don't get a sighting and don't get a photograph, but we have to take that on the chin because that's the way that nature photography goes sometimes. Today seems to be a real day of almost photos. And by that, I mean, I've seen lots of sightings of birds but I've always not had the camera either in my hand or focused in the right spot. Um, I've missed a great shot of a, a nuthatch, a woodpecker, the red start, so many possible images that I could have got. And that is absolutely the way it goes sometimes in nature photography. I've made it to the new location um, on what is known as the top loop. And apparently there are red starts about around here. Now it's a lovely location. I've got the sun just starting to come through the trees and these amazing bluebells here behind me. But unfortunately, no birds.
I'll just insert this shot at the end of the video. I'm on the way back to the car and I did spot my one pied flycatcher. Now it's not the best of images, but I just thought I'd put it in just so I show you that I've seen one. Well done for staying with me to this part of the video. I am really grateful, but I do apologize that I haven't managed to pull a rabbit out of the hat and get a really cracking shot of a pied flycatcher or a red stalk that I was really looking for. Now I have had lots of sightings for myself. I have seen the red star at close quarters and that uh, pied flycatcher right at the end Unfortunately, I didn't manage to get a good photograph because I was in the wrong place or I'd got a tripod in my hand or I was focusing in the wrong direction. And that's always the case with nature photography. It's a really good lesson for you to learn or think about when you go out to take nature shots, you're not always going to get a really cracking shot. Sometimes you will go home with virtually nothing in the camera. But the main thing is to think that you've enjoyed yourself spending time in nature. A huge thanks if you've stayed with me to this part of the video. As always, if you've got any comments, leave them down below or nip over to my Instagram account, that's at Deokton Photography. Leave me your comments there and you can also see lots of my pictures. Now, if you like what I do on the channel and would like to help support me to make future content like this, you can also go over to my Teespring store. There I've got a range of merchandise on offer and there's a link for that down below in the description. But you don't have to spend any money at all to support the channel. You can do that simply by clicking like, subscribe and the bell notifications because that really helps me out and it makes sure that you don't miss out on any of my future content. Watch out for next week's video that goes live at four o'clock on Sunday. In the meantime go and check out this video just up here but all that's left now is to say stay safe and I'll see you soon.